Hi, welcome to today's edition of Traders Talks. My name is Aaron Sadler, I'm the training manager at CDVR UK. Uh, today I'm going to talk you through our door automation range, which is known as the Digiway range. Within that range we have two operators, we've got a Digiway Plus and a Digiway SR. Um, it's quite important that you're fitting the right um, unit to the correct type of environment. An uh, easy way to kind of assess that is do you have general public that be going through the door? Um, if so, then you may get some resistance against the operator, so a spring return might be a better option over than the motor close and motor open, which is a Digiway Plus. Um, so as I say, it's important to pick the right um, kind of unit for your install. Um, with the two units, uh, they both come as a kit, which will include your safety sensors, um, signage for your door, which will be a keep clear sign and an automatic door sign, and the finger guards. We class that as our EN16005 kits, so it gives you everything to make it compliant to that standard. Um, with regards to the DigiOSR, which is what we're looking at today, uh, we've got three ways of programming. You'll get a transmitter in the box, which allows you to program it through using that transmitter, or you can do it through the onboard buttons that you've got on your PCB. Uh, and the new addition to it is with the Bluetooth module, so that will allow you to calibrate your unit using the Bluetooth um, app. Just a simple download on both Google Play and the Apple Store, uh, free of charge, you don't charge for it. So once you've got that um, set up, you can go through the calibration side of things, we can uh, do your spring tension, it's got an auto calibration function on there, so you set a start point and a stop point, and that will do your auto calibration and work out the best settings for that particular, particular door that it's on. With regards to connections on there, there are a lot of connections you can add onto it. They're all on the actual motor itself, so it's a nice clear diagram for any paper in your system yourself. But you've got options to add a fire alarm onto it. So if there is the event of a fire, you can program a door to then open, or if it's a fire door, you can program it to close. We've got activation sensors that we can wire into it, so as soon as someone's approaching the door, we'll automatically send a trigger for it. Uh, key switches, which will replicate the rocker switch on the end cap. Uh, so if you've got a busy period during the day, we can put it to door open. It'll stay open until the key switch back into fully automatic. Uh, we've also got a lock and output on there, which is rated at one amp, so 12 volt one amp. That's enough power there to power your mag locks. Uh, and again, within the settings on there, we can then calibrate it to release the mag lock and then start an operation cycle if we need to. Uh, within the software, there is a lot of features you can add and modify. Uh, a couple of things that spring to mind will be um, opening jolt. If you've got some side load on a strike, it's going to see it as resistance, so it needs to actually bring itself in, release the strike, and then start the opening process. As well as the EN standard, EN16 and 705 standard, it's compliant for the SR with the EN16341, and that is a fire rating with um, the unit. It means it can withstand a attack for 60 minutes uh, without spreading the fire into an additional room. As I say, that does apply only to the SR. Um, but moving back onto the calibration side of things, as I said, you can calibrate it using your app. Um, so, simple process of opening up your app. The device will become uh, discoverable by your phone. Once you select it, you will then get a display that will come up that replicates the one that's on your uh, operator. And then through here, we can go through the menus. We've got configuration tool which enables settings such as your fire mode, uh, push and go, wind stop, etc. Uh, and then we've got advanced settings where you can tweak those to what you want. So if you want a time delay for the, re uh, for the locking to release it and then the door to open, you can have that. And you've also got a triggering point so you can check that the uh, unit is actually fully operational. And again, we have the rocket switch, which is similar to the end cap, that we can then put into the mode if we want it to be door free, as if there's no operator on there, it can be general use. And if we want it to be open for a long period of time, we can then just set it to open. You know, when we're ready to go back to our automatic mode, we can then just switch it back to the automatic. So people can use the push to exit buttons, activation sensors, and that kind of thing. So, with the door automation range that we offer, uh, we do actually offer free of charge training, which we hold at our Holocon branch. Uh, we cover the DigiWay Plus and the DigiWay SR. It just goes through certain features about how to install it. Um, general setup and so let's say where you would install it, that kind of thing. Uh, chaining, as I say, is free of charge, so if it's something of interest, then you can go onto our website, which will be cdvr.co.uk, and register for training there. Uh, if you can't 
make any of the dates are on our website. We have a rig that we can come to you and carry out training in your own uh, offices. So if that is something you're interested in, again, just feel free to reach out. So all of this stuff is available through the Trader's Warehouse. If you do have any inquiries, feel free to reach out to myself or to your local area manager and we'll be happy to assist. Thank you all very much for taking the time to watch the video. Hope to see you on another one soon.